I, I actually really like that a lot. What's up, guys? K pop producer, writer, Rockman here. Okay, we've got a Jimin music video. Was this song released previously? I haven't looked into this. I saw like a little teaser snippet somewhere. I don't even remember what it sounded like, but I was like, that sounded really familiar. If y'all know, I'm just curious. Not a big deal. But I'm excited because this is a full music video. We, we reacted to the, the, the collab he did with Loco, which is not like a full music video video. That was like a creative type thing. And I am excited to see Jimin back with a big one. So I'm assuming this is going to be a big one. Yeah. Look at this set. That looks crazy. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is catchy. I gotta pause it right there. Oh my gosh. That's super catchy. I actually really like that. One thing I will say about BTS, they're so confident, they don't care if there's auto-tune on their voice. It sounds good. They're great singers. They don't have anything to prove. But I have consistently heard auto-tune on their voices a lot over the years, and they don't care. I think if the energy is right for the song, it don't matter. And there are songs where you don't hear any auto-tune. There are songs where you hear their vocal raw and they sound great. There are songs you hear their vocals tuned meticulously and it sounds perfect, but nobody, nobody bugs because it doesn't matter. But that, oh my gosh, that started off, that was super catchy right off the bat. This kind of melody, it feels familiar anyway. And that's a good thing. Oh, I like his hairstyle here. I love the colorful fire. Oh, this is like some early 2000s pop. That's why I feel so familiar. Ooh. Oh, the camera quality is like retro. Oh yeah, it's like a 2000s type camcorder. You know. I mean, shoot, this kind of song, it's, it's, it's like a, um, it's a plateau. It's like the melody is big and it's catchy and it stays there and then it hits the verse and it still stays there. You don't, you don't see that too often. It's so honestly to pull that off, you need to be Jimin. His voice, my God, these falsettos. Nobody hits these falsettos like him. It is so one of a kind. But to be able to pull off doing a hook that's already up there, and then the verse is kind of similar, it's not drastic melodically from the chorus. You got to be confident. You got to be on point with the catchiness of this song. And you got to be as talented as him. Otherwise, it's just boring. It's like some NSYNC stuff. And you can immediately sing along with it, you know? It's like a Max Martin trick. I'm curious if he did this, actually. And you know what, when the hook... I know y'all hate when I stop here, but I'm sorry, that's just what I do. When the hook is that good, throw it at him. Throw it at him, throw it at him. I love switching to this camera view. The color is so cool. Oh my god. This visual is so great. What the? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that, that indie video that they made with like the cop and the kid and he was like flipping cars over and David Hasselhoff was in it and it had that like retro neon feel. So I love this type of visual. Mm. 
this jacket with his hairstyle and the color is so on point. It's so good. I love that look for him. Oh man, what a good day. This and the Stray Kids release checking out tonight was a delight. And I love how it switched from like a retro film grain because all the colors that went with it, you it's like, oh, you would only see it with that type of styling. But then when it took the retro like camera filter off, the color still stayed and it was like crystal clear. That's pretty cool. You don't see that too often, like that effect, but without the retroness to it. Yo. I, I actually really like that a lot. And I will say K-pop in general is always accepting of like throwback, in sync, Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Brandy, all that stuff is super influential always and that just felt it just felt right it felt like i've heard it. and that's why i said in the beginning i haven't heard it but it felt like you've heard it and max martin one of the best producers of all time probably is the best producer of all time you know all the pop hits you all you all recognize that was one of the things is when you get to the chorus you know it just feels like you've heard it before or it's catchy enough it feels familiar i think that was the word he uses a lot that was great anyway i don't have much else to say i just super enjoyed it and the visuals were just great and simple and just, he nailed it. Anyway. All right, that's my last video for today. I gotta get out of here. See you.